How you doing, everyone? Michael Jenkins here. That's my man Tim Murray. We are the Daily Line, and we have game one of the NBA Finals coming up on Thursday in Toronto. You guys know it's the Warriors and the Raptors. Toronto making its first ever appearance in the NBA Finals while the Warriors are trying to cement their legacy as one of the greatest dynasties of all time, if they haven't already done that, Tim. Raptors favored by one point. Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting. Even though the public is all over Golden State. So when you look at this game, and generally, when the public is over about 60% on Golden State during the playoffs, they're not very good against the number. They have a losing record, I believe. So who are you on, and, and why do you like them? I think game one, I'm starting to I'm starting to get a little cold feet here when it yeah. comes to, I initially thought the Warriors were the right side. They opened up as a short favorite. That line, as you mentioned, has now shifted all the way to the Raptors minus one. I think a lot has to do with not only sharp action, but the fact that Kevin Durant was officially ruled out Mm -hmm. for game number one. For me, the intriguing point uh, line for for game one is the over-under. That opened at 215. It has now come down to 213. And Jenks, the public is still leaning the over, but the money is coming heavily in on the under. So... I personally believe that the Warriors are going to win game number one, but that is such a square play. It is. And the fact that the wise guys are on the Raptors scares me. And I normally, as as our as our listeners know, yeah. I like to go the other way. I like to side with the wise guys. They're, they're wise guys for a reason, right? Yep. So I personally will stay off of game one on the spread, but I'm looking long and hard at the over-under. And I know this trend, and I, I heard this – pop up and it's one of those just kind of random statistical oddities out there but the under has hit something like 13 out of 14 game ones in this postseason now does that matter when you look at the Raptors because they've played what two game ones and the Warriors have played two so that doesn't really matter all that much but it's just it's interesting to see that and the Raptors have really hit the under a whole lot this postseason. So I'm looking long and hard at an under, which I hate to play. It's not fun to bet unders, right. but I'm leaning under game one, 213. I'm actually going to stay away from this game. It's all together. Yeah, nothing all nothing together, stands out. I want no part of this game, and sometimes boring. it Ooh. is boring, and bettors are saying, what are you talking about? <laughs> You're not betting. But, you know, being a smart better sometimes yeah. means – you lay off and say, I, I don't like this game. And I understand it's the NBA Finals. It's the one game in front of us, right? But we're going to have a series, and I, I want to see how this series goes down first. I want to see whether or not KD plays. I think we're going to see Boogie Cousins right now. Boogie Cousins is minus 200 to play in this series. And if you listen to Steve Kerr, he says, yeah, Boogie's done a really good job rehabbing. He's done a nice job rebounding, Steve Kerr's words. So this is a guy that's been practicing. I wonder how they're going to work him in. But I want to go back to this stat I mentioned earlier. Now they have the specifics right here. Mm-hmm. Currently, 78% of the public is on Golden State. During the playoffs under Steve Kerr, when more than 70% of the bets are on Golden State, the Warriors are 6-7 and seven against the spread. So I- I'm like you in that. You know, I'm thinking Raptors based on the trend line here and what we've been seeing throughout the postseason under Steve Kerr when this happens. But when you look at the eye test and what we've seen thus far, and the Warriors, by the way, have had 10 days to sit back and prepare while the Raptors have been worn out in their last series. That's why I'm staying away. And it And it does feel like that the Warriors, without Kevin Durant, and they've said all the right things. They miss their brother. Of course they want him on the floor. But there is this mindset they're now 5 and 0 without him in this postseason they've looked great they've battled back from three double digit deficits game 2 3 and 4 against portland where you know in recent incarnations if you think about the regular season they say eh we'll just pack it in we'll beat them in game 3 and and they seem to be on a mission so that that leads me to the series now there isn't value anymore on the Warriors at minus 300. Now, you can lay $3 and... and I'll pass. Yeah. The Raptors are at plus 240, and now there's an interesting side note with the Raptors and some MVP odds. But if you want to make money on the Warriors, here's my here's my kind of crazy mindset. There's two things. Now, you could play the exact series. So if they're at minus 300, I truly believe that the Warriors are going to win in five or six. I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going crazy out you know, no, on a limit. six. 
So the favorites at six at the Westgate Superbook, that's five to two, so plus 250. And then you've got game five, winning in five, which is four to one. So if you really believe the Warriors are going to win, sprinkle a little bit on the five and the six exact series price. Mm-hmm. You'll still profit money if it falls there. Now, obviously, you're, you're opening yourself up if there is a sweep like the Warriors just did to the Blazers, right. or if this goes to seven, I just feel like the, the fact that the Warriors don't have home court advantage, they're going to want to close out at minimum yeah. in game six. And, and I just I can't see the Raptors sweeping the Warriors at home. You know what I'm saying? So, no. so the, the, the seven-game option for the Warriors, if you believe the Warriors are going to win, I just don't see seven games being a possibility. I love your idea of playing five and six. Personally, I think five is a good play. I like plus 400 here. Pretty good value. It's really good value, and I can definitely see a scenario in which Toronto gets one, but ultimately the Warriors are just the better team. I think we've seen that. Most of us agree on that. And, you know, they get a gentleman's sweep. Right. Well, Do they close it out? Yeah, the only thought is... Could they close it out in Toronto? In Toronto. Probably not. I mean, they. I mean, but that's why six is the favorite, right? And and I I would I would lean game uh, five games as well. And here's another thought that I have. So the Warriors once again are minus three hundred. I really believe, and the odds makers are showing it, that it is time for Steph Curry to win MVP. This would be his fourth title. He's yet to win NBA yep. Finals MVP. Just look at what he did against the Blazers: thirty six point five points per game, eight assists, seven rebounds per game. Now. Could we see a situation, Jenks, where the Warriors win a la 2015 and Draymond Green is the defensive stalwart sure. slowing down Kawhi Leonard? Yeah, I guess that's a possibility. But if you believe the Warriors are going to win, I truly would have a hard time seeing Steph Curry not being the MVP. So once again, if you believe the Warriors are going to win, I know you're laying it is, you know, a buck 40 to mm-hmm. get it. But I think there's more value on Steph Curry at minus 140 than the Warriors at minus 300. I just I I have a hard time really believing, even though Draymond's at six to one, that Steph Curry won't be the NBA Finals MVP. It just it, it feels like it's. I mean, it seems like he's the, the quarterback cho- of that team, it, and more often than not, the quarterback always wins. It's the obvious choice. The question you have to ask yourself is. If Kevin, Dur- if you're leaning Steph, if Kevin Durant comes back in this series, does that offset what Steph Curry can do? Because once Kevin Durant left this series, that's when Steph, the onus was on him to do more. And he did. He delivered in fantastic fashion. He's been brilliant since then. So I- I'm of the opinion that Kevin Durant is still a little bit more injured than the Warriors are letting Agreed. on. We haven't seen anything. Kevin Durant, by the way, hasn't worked out with the team. He's been rehabbing. He still hasn't gotten on the court yet. The finals are underway. They're about to start. So there's not a whole lot of leeway for Kevin Durant to get healthy, get back on the court, and be ready to go. So depending on whether or not you think KD players or not, maybe Curry has some value or not. And also the sharp money is coming in on Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. He started off at 10-1. to Now he's at 6-1. to And it's because he's been a triple-double machine. There's prop bets out there and how many triple-doubles he will have. The total is set at 1.5. So Draymond is a guy you could put your money on, but you've lost a lot of value along the way. Well, and here's here's my last thought. So the Warriors are at, at minus 300, so 300 to make 100, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so put a buck 40 on Curry and put 100 on Draymond Green. More value there than going for the Warriors in the full series. Unless Kawhi wins and then everything just blows up. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard, we are not going to see Three to Kawhi one. Leonard win the MVP unless the Raptors win it. Now, no question. If you truly believe the Raptors are going to win, go all in. Yeah. Plus 300 on Kawhi, plus 240 on the Raptors, but there is no way that we're going if, – if LeBron no. couldn't win MVP in 2015, no question. nobody is winning Although, MVP. Kawhi getting some sharp action. I don't think it's going to happen, but there are some people that believe that the Raptors can somehow pull an upset, and Kawhi, of course, will be that guy. He's Tim Murray. I'm Michael Jenkins. We are the Daily Line. Good luck on all your bets.